All right, darlings. Well, today is, today is Tuesday, is it not? I'm quite sure it's Tuesday. And um, the message that I've got for you today is about, well, it's two things. It's really about beauty. And I have just been loving getting into my own beauty routines and in this like new normal abnormal state that we're in. Um, and also like getting organized. Granted, I just moved into this new house and we've still got things to unpack and, and all that good stuff, but just really paying attention to how good it feels to take a bath and actually do all of the elements of my morning routine. Um, I haven't quite gotten into like a hardcore workout schedule yet. So like I'm feeling good about the little things that I feel good about doing right now. Um, and I'm not just pushing myself, but really doing what feels pleasurable. And that's the thing for us to really be following the inner guidance that comes when we do things that are pleasurable. So I'm going to share with you some of the products that I've been using, but you know, you don't even need these products. So one thing for me has just been, I've been taking a bath every morning, just sitting in a bathtub, like not like showering and getting to work, but actually enjoying bath time. And then when I've gotten out of the bath and I was like, you know, just kind of getting into my day and going uh, about my business. And, and lately I've really been like doing the full beauty routine, like including the toner. Talk about that in my book. But one of the things that I've just loved, so I know I shared this with you all earlier, there's this brand called I Am, if I'm saying it right, and it's um, Dead Sea Minerals. These makeup wipes, they're just, they're divine. They, they get like waterproof mascara off and they like smell so good and I've just been loving using these. Actually, and I've, um, uh, there's a special code that you can get. My, my team will leave the links on like where you can get these and use the the Gina code so you can get um, it off a uh, percentage off of you. And I am Beauty Care. Great, thank you, Abigail. Um, but I have just been that they smell so great and they like they just do such a great cleaning job. Use code Gina twenty five if you want the Dead Sea Mineral Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. Um, but whatever makeup remover wipes, you know, whatever your thing is, this isn't just uh, uh, for I am, I'm using these. And they also have this amazing Dead Sea Minerals Caviar Lotion. And I'd gotten lazy about the lotion. I'd jump out of the bath and go get ready. And I was like, you know, today I just made sure like it smells, it's silky and it smells so good. And it just, it like felt great just to get into my femininity and to receive and take great care of myself. So if you want the um, Dead Sea Mineral, oh, I can just smell it right now. I wish you could smell it through the phone. Um, Dead Sea Minerals Caviar. So there you go. And there you go. Um, that's, and then I've recommitted to my supplements and my vitamins. I've gotten everything organized and I'm taking those on a regular basis now. I'd gotten a little lazy during the move and the whole quarantine thing. Um, and then just drinking lemon water, just like detoxing the system and just <clears throat> having a pitcher of water next to my desk and just drinking lemon water all day. It's just, these are just the little things that I've noticed that just are adding up to like a queenly element and feeling great and being feminine and also my space. Um, doing a bunch of media lately, we, Glenn got me those, well, what were beautiful flowers like I'm noticing like what a difference flowers make in the environment. And <laughs> something funny happened earlier today. Those flowers have um, more than seen their day, which is why they're back there. And uh, like it, it like really reminded me, like I used to have them right here and they just add such like flair and color and beauty. And like every time I'd walk by them, like I, that was like a natural mood elevator for me. And um, so the, <laughs> the orchids, I shouldn't say this, but it's just, I'm not a fan of orchids. They're, they're so, they're, they're so prissy and they're so prima donna-y and they're so like finicky. They like, they're like cats to me. Like, I don't get them. Like, I'm like, give me a dog and I'm fine. But like orchids, well, the other flowers like wilted and I needed something for, for yesterday and today. So I went and grabbed Glenn's orchids from downstairs okay the man is like he he t watches over these things like when the flowers fall off and then the buds come back again and he'll be like look there's a bud I'm like enjoy so 
I went and stole his orchids because I needed something for when I was like sitting like this. And he comes up today to see his stolen orchids. And he's like, what are you doing? With he's like, you have, he, they, yesterday was the day they're supposed to get five ice cubes. Apparently that's how you water orchids. He's like, five, he's like, go get five ice cubes out and talk to it in a loving way. It needs spoken to with love. This, this is hashtag baby love. This is, oh yes, yes. You think he's, he's that guy, like he's the go get five ice cubes and take care of my orchids and talk to it lovingly. This bitch right here, sorry, but it's like, I don't know. I've tried to take care of orchids before. They're just such, they're like a pain in the ass, but they are pretty. So um, anyways, I need to change my relationship with orchids clearly, but apparently my husband is going to help me with that. Anyways, I'm just noticing like it's such a more beautiful space, right? Oh my gosh. You all are laughing. Baby love. Like you, you think he's the monster and I'm the mama. It's... I'm not gonna call myself a monster, but um, you know, well, anyways, it doesn't matter. The point is, Glenn is much more about talking lovingly to the orchids and making sure it's got the five ice cubes. Uh, for those of you that are just coming in, you're gonna have to go back and watch the beginning because apparently the community is dying over finding out secrets about hashtag maybe love. Um, so what else? So flowers, lotions, like skincare routine, taking supplements, drinking the lemon water. Um, I went on a social distancing walk with a friend yesterday. Like, so being out in nature, it's like all of like the beauty. Oh, and then here's the other thing that has been adding to the whole beauty element of things. Like getting things organized, both like physically here in my space and also in my inbox, like I have been unsubscribing so much, cleaning up emails, like deleting, like getting rid of, of stuff that's just clutter and it's not beautiful and it's distracting. And it's like, like stuff, I'm, great work that people are even doing. And it's like, I'm not reading it. I'm taking the time to delete it every day or it's piling up in my inbox. So Yesterday, I got myself super organized and cleared out at least one of my email addresses. And one of the ways I was really able to do that was I, I delegated it so much to my amazing personal assistant. And we've set up a system where she's Asana in it. It was like stuff I couldn't quite let go of yet, um, but I needed it out of my inbox. And it, so it was like trainings that I wanna take and books that I wanna read or like ideas for projects that I have that are just not of today. And so I just, I took the email and I forwarded it and I just wrote Asana and like, it was like, I want to start getting into TikTok. I know, but it's true. Um, but it's not today. So it's like Asana, social media is the category, TikTok. And I put like 515 for the date, May 15th. And I just did that with all the stuff in my inbox and I got rid of so much clutter. It was cluttering my brain. It was like stuff I didn't want to get rid of, but I also wasn't taking action on it today or yesterday or, you know, and so I would give it dates. So like I know it's all going to be there in Asana. It's not going to get lost and it's not cluttering up my inbox. I also made some other decisions to delegate even more things in my business. There are a number of things that I was uh, approving because um, I thought I needed to be the final approval on it. And I just looked at it and I was like, you know, I am not going to get to the next level with what I'm doing if I have to be in charge of all these approvals. And something that you need to be aware of as, as a leader, as a company owner, like people aren't, you can train your people really well. They're never going to do it. Not never. Most of the time, I mean, they're not 100% of the time going to do things the way you would have done it. And I had to get okay with that. I had to, um, specifically, there were like so many media requests coming in, which I'm really grateful for. And it was like, look over these talking points and look over this, you know, like it was just so much. I was like, I'm, I have a part-time job just like approving my own media um, sound bites. And I was like, you know what? I am good enough on the fly. I will look at like, they're going to go and put it in the calendar of like, when, like I did a thing this morning and I... You know, I reviewed it this morning. I didn't need to review it all ahead of time. So all this stuff was stacking up and it was creating a non-beautiful experience for me in my business. And so I had to be in charge as a queen to create this beautiful experience. So no more approving media tips, talking points, any of that. It's not, 
on me anymore. Getting all of the stuff out of my inbox. Um, what else am I doing to... Oh, so just like getting organized, like physically and then online wise. So that's been feeling really beautiful. And then getting ahead with like online ordering. Like I'm starting to run out of some beauty supplies and Mother's Day and Father's Day is coming up and some friends' birthdays and that kind of thing. And just really um, getting the whole online ordering scene dialed in. Like, and we're creating like, you know, don't you hate it? Well, I don't know, maybe you're better at organizing than I am. Like, I hate finding out from Facebook the day before it's like actually a really good friend's birthday. Like I'm like, why don't I just calendar it so like annually so that it would be there. Like my niece's birthday was like, I realized it the day before her birthday this week. So I'm just getting really good at calendaring uh, or getting that stuff calendared so I can do things ahead of time, order ahead of time, not be rushed, not you know, I love giving gifts and I love giving gifts that like I feel really great about and I hate when I have to like do something just because that's what could get delivered on time. So getting ahead uh, of my, my scene there and it's just all, um, it's all like feeling good and beautiful. And I think it's just one of those times for those of us that are healthy and safe at home. Like we all have these projects, whether it's in the inbox or in your physical space or bringing beauty to your health and, and physical allure routine. Um, it is, it's just, it's the opportunity of right now. Um, so I'm seizing it because I know this too shall pass. And I certainly, I don't want to be organizing like my bathroom drawers when it's time to be like in Positano or somewhere else. Um, so I'm really using this time now to get my stuff dialed in and organized. So, and just like letting it be beautiful, you know, getting rid of clothes that I don't feel beautiful in. It's as soon as I get things set up, I will, I promise I'll take y'all on a home tour. You can see the closet and the bathroom space that I'm looking to make beautiful, um, the outdoor space, you know, just it, 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 it takes time and care to really create beauty wherever you're going. And so that's what I want for you, queen, today is creating beauty absolutely wherever you're going. All right. So to recap, we're going to be bringing beauty into our own personal routine. So if you've gotten lazy like I had, um, I invite you to up the beauty routine. Again, the one, what I'm using, I'm using these beautiful, I don't know if you can see it, um, this beautiful, I am Dead Sea Mineral Vitamin C Serum um, face wipes. They take off like waterproof mascara, like all the makeup. It's so good. And they totally are, they, they like smell so great. And my team will put in the link. You can um, get the code and I think you can get a percentage off if you use my code. And then I also used their caviar lotion today. It's just, because I'd gotten lazy. I was like taking a bath, but then just jumping out and getting on with my day. So really like lotioning and loving my, myself up and my body up and then recommitted to taking my supplements, drinking lemon water. All these things are just helping me feel a lot more beautiful. And then of course there's the, the flower story, uh, you know, adding those elements and then getting yourself organized. Like whether it's your kitchen cabinets, your garage, your inbox, like whatever it is that needs organized, cleaned out, deleted, uncluttered, um, let's just do that so that everything in our physical and mental environment is nothing but beautiful. And because you are beautiful and everything, everything that we wear, everything, way that we look, uh, everything that's in our environment, it's an extension of us. So this is really the time, one of the opportunities that we can take right now to allow ourselves to get our queenhood on in every sense of the word. Cool, cool, cool. So any thoughts, comments, or questions today, my darlings? Um, if you're just joining us now and you missed the Glenn story about the orchids, you must go back and rewatch because it's it'll you're welcome. I'll just say it that way. Any questions about adding beauty to your life regimen? Oh, Facebook, you are blowing up today too, darlings. Look at all of you lovelies over here. Hey, Elena. Hey, Molly. Hey, Lauren. I'm at the, the window every day waiting on an epic delivery from Sephora. I love the beauty and pampering. Thanks for recommendations. You're welcome. I'm here from South Africa. Hey, Shirley. Welcome. Oh, Sierra, right? The orchids, they're so prissy. 
Okay, um, you all are fun, fun, fun. Okay, yeah, so if you can go to I am, if I'm saying it correctly, beauty.com, and you can use code GINA25 um, for percentage off, then um, there you go. Great, great, great. What's going on over here on Instagram, darlings? Thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions on your own beauty routine. Let's let's hear it. What, what are you recommitting to? I shared with you what all of mine are. And um, I would love to see what yours are as well. So we'll let the Instagram, Facebook lag get... And then, oh, and then my team is saying, you'll get 25% off your purchase. That's 25% off. That's, that is generous, people. So definitely go check out I am, um, it's IamBeauty.com. And like I said, I have just been loving, loving these products and uh, feeling even more queenly in the morning. So what is this? Aloe facials once a week. That's super cool, Krishan. Very queenly, very queenly. Anyone else want to share your best tips? On beauty and well, we're gonna while I'm waiting for those from you all, we're gonna make sure, let's see dance routines. Get in my joy and physical beauty. Leave it to you, Lisa. Fabulous. Yes, 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 yes. Who else? Who else? For those of you have not gotten the book yet, you can go to divineliving.com forward slash book to get my brand new book, The Audacity to Be Queen. Um, it's just gonna help you feel so beautiful inside. It's gonna freshen up that mind of yours and help you remember what is possible for you, and that is the epic life. And uh, there is also a free companion course to the book. You don't even have to buy the book, uh, but if you want the book, you can go to divineliving.com forward slash book. You can get it on audio, Kindle, or hardcover. And the companion course is amazing. Thousands of women from around the world are loving it. Let's give some love to the companion course. You can get into that if you go to divineliving.com forward slash audacity. Go to divineliving.com forward slash audacity. You'll get videos and workbooks and into the Facebook group with all these really cool high vibe women who are totally going for it and rallying. Um, thank you, Lisa, for saying that you love the book and... Um, I, the feedback we've been getting from the companion course is just off the chart. So I want to make sure that you're in there. Number one, it's completely free, divineliving.com forward slash audacity. And here's my only request of you, that you go share that link with three friends today. There are three women that you know that need a boost of enthusiasm, motivation, and a reminder of what really is possible for them. Uh, and I want them to have that free course. So go give them divineliving.com forward slash audacity. Go DM three people, email three people, text three people. Make sure that they get in there for all. It's just completely free. And if you want them to have the book too, you can give them that link as well. Divineliving.com forward slash book. All right, superstars. So I want you to remember, I'm going for my dreams in an even bigger way than usual. So I want you to know that during this time, that is absolutely not just what's possible, but it's why else would we be in self-quarantine? This is such an opportunity for us to really be spending time alone with ourselves, hearing from our souls. Like what? If you could do anything, which you can, like, what is your big dream? And really hear from you and start to cultivate that and hear what that dream is so you can get the vision. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm listening for right now. And then, you know, I'm going and I'm talking to different people about it and thoughts grow stronger as they are shared. And I'm getting more ideas about the dream and how to bring it forward into the world in a really big way. I've also safeguarded my calendar where I'm making sure that I've got big chunks of time and space to focus on it and really bring it into the world. So what you desire, it's not just possible, it's what's meant for you. So I want you to be there for yourself and I want you to create enough discipline in your life where you are really in charge of your day, where you are not just in reaction to all the emails and all the stuff you have to do, but where you are really leading by example, where you are at the forefront of your day with your journal, with your intentions, with your big desires, and looking to see how is it possible for you to accomplish, complete, and manifest exactly that, exactly that. So, 
I'm using a microcurrent device that contours the face. I purchased it from Linda Gee. That's awesome, super cool. I love seeing that. Um, so look at, we're about women who, who desire it all, want it all, and are meant to have it all. So everything from beauty to the big dreams, this is, this is what I am taking a stand for, for myself and for you as well. So today we're gonna adjust our crown, go organize our lives and our schedules and our inboxes so that we are the queen and not the tail wagging the dog and really get in our power. It's time for us to be living life by design and we have the capability of doing that. And when we do, everyone else benefits. Like think about your big dream and how many people are going to just be totally have their lives changed or lives transformed as a result of you saying yes to you and going for it in the biggest way possible. All right. Everyone, go make sure you take your action step. If you haven't gotten the book, go to divineliving.com forward slash book. This is just filled with all kinds of fun stories and exercises. It's not like a work kind of book. It's like a delightful, just everything that your soul has wanted to hear in terms of yes, yes to your big dreams. Yes to you saying no to all the things that you don't want to do. Yes to you saying yes to what you do want to do. It's like, it's the guidebook for that. Um, and you're going to have a lot of laughs and fun and support along the way, especially when you go get into the free companion course, because there's so many women that are just going to be loving you up in that course. I'm going to be there. So come join us, come join us. Baby love, do I hear you? Are you coming to join us? No, I'm not. No? Oh, he's, I told the, I, oh, he said he's not camera ready, ladies. Baby love is not camera ready, so you don't, you don't get that goodness today, but at least you got the baby love and the orchids. Baby, did you hear me tell the story about the orchid? About well, the orchid? Yeah. Five cubes every week. Well, I, it was more than five cubes every week. I told how you yelled at me and said I had to talk to it with love. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> the or you said the orchid was looking dull because I wasn't paying attention to it. Oh my gosh, this man, this man. Well, I'm paying attention to all of you and this orchid has a job to do. It needs to just do its beauty thing and it got its five cubes, but let, let's give the orchid some love and attention, shall we? I think, uh, I guess all living beings are feeling it right now. We'll like shower it with its- Orchids have feelings too. Orchids have feelings too, he says. Orchids have feelings too. There is not a better way to close out Divine Living's Instagram Live than that. Know that you are loved. Know that you are important. Remember that you're a queen. So go get your queen game and on today. Every week. And five cubes for the orchid, five ice cubes for the orchid every single week. Mwah. See you tomorrow, lovelies. Bye.